I had a viewer comment um, and ask a question, will this Rigel scope uh, do an eye diagram? So I thought uh, that's an interesting question and people probably don't know what an eye diagram is. I think I know what it is, but <laughs> um, we will see. Um, so what we need is some data, okay? So I have a, a square wave going on here and I'm going to be using this box here. I've done a video on this before. This is a bit error rate tester and it's able to output random data, which is what I want for my, uh, for my test over here. And so uh, this is a one-to-one. -one. So it's just on, off, on, off in a one-to-one -one, uh, configuration, but it has some random things here. So let's go ahead and choose uh, the most random one here, which is two to the 23 minus one. And so that's, uh, uh, you can see over here, we're, we're getting a, a bunch of random data now, right? All right, so uh, we're, we're, we don't need to look at this box anymore. I'm just gonna leave it uh, the way it is. Now I'm gonna make one change. I'm gonna make one change if it'll focus. Sorry about that. So we're gonna make one thing. So right now we're at uh, 19.2 kilohertz, uh, which is a baud rate, right? And I just want this thing going as fast as it can. So we will go more, more, we can go to, so we start out of 1200, 1400, 19.2, 56. We can go up farther and farther and farther, but if we hit help, it says that we can enter a frequency all the way up to 15,000. So let's, let's go as fast as this box knows how. So I'll say 15,000. And now we're set at uh, 15,000 kilohertz. And I'm not gonna touch this box any longer. We're just gonna take a look at the, uh, at the signal over here. So let me rearrange the camera. All right, so going nice and fast now, I'll change the horizontal sweep. And we can see the data is just flying by now. If I do a single sweep, you can see that it's random data. There's, there's highs and lows, and it's, just, it's outputting random data, okay? And so if you want to do a eye diagram, first is you need to capture, uh, capture a bunch of waveforms, okay? And we want to capture, um, rising and falling edges both okay we kind of have a gap here and that's because of our triggering so what we want to do is we want to go into triggering and we want to say we're set to rising edge right now we could say here's falling edge but we can say either that's what we want we want to set triggering to either so now it's triggering either on a plus or a minus edge and everything's looking good now all right okay so uh, let's zoom out a little bit like that. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to look to see uh, the eye, okay? So in this particular case, what you're doing is your, um, this blank spot in the middle is the eye, and, and this is the eye diagram, okay? And what it says is you don't want anything you don't want to have any events, oh, pushing on my screen again. Uh, you don't want any events in the eye. It's okay that we may have some, some errors where the edge occurs, that's fine, but we don't want anything in a particular area of the eye, okay? So what we want to do is we want to acquire a lot of data and remember it. So we can go to display, we can go to persistence, and persistence is like an averaging. It'll, it'll display data. So if we say like one second, what it's doing is it's collecting data and it's having a running average of one second of a, of a running average. All right. And we can go all the way up to infinite, infinite persistence. Okay. And now it's remembering. Like if I, if I move it a bit, it's just going to start accumulating and remember everything, all right? So the other thing that we can do is in more, we can turn on color grading, okay? And color grading will give you an idea of how, how often things occur. You can sort of see it in here that it's... Uh, the, the, the dark blue things are kind of random events and the orangey yellow things are kind of the highest averaging, right? It, that happens the most. Uh, let's see here. Uh, display, persistence, bright 
brightness, I think, is the scale. Yeah, it's the scale brightness. Uh, oh yeah, intensity. It, it won't have an intensity if I have infinite on. So if I do like a five second average, um, oh, maybe it's if I only have color grading. If I go back, yeah, now we can change the intensity. Okay, and you can see that sort of in monochrome mode, you can turn up, you can turn up the intensity, and you'll see more of it. You can turn it down, you see less of it. So you can play with it that way. If your scope has has this feature then you can just kind of change your eye diagram by changing the intensity of the normal trace and the save traces as it's accumulating this data, okay? But this scope has a color gradient, which is nice. And so I think this is a proper eye diagram. Uh, people can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a proper eye diagram. I think real fancy scopes, you, you'll be able to put a region of interest in here and see if things are crossing or not. I, I honestly don't know if this scope has it. It might. It's a very complicated scope, but I haven't used that feature yet. But uh, you can kind of you can kind of see over here that we have some spreading of the data. Um, okay, we can go one step further with uh, some of this eye diagram stuff. Um, we can turn our color gradient on, and we we see that there's some problems here with this edge. We want to know how. How, what the statistics are on that edge, okay? And so there's a function here uh, that's called histogram, all right? So we can, pr we can click histogram and we get it up here so we can turn on the histogram and uh, we get a box, all right? And we can change some things. Um, we can change the size of the box. So that's range. We can change the, the, the left-hand side of the box. We can change the right-hand side of the box. And we can change the top level. And we can change the bottom level, okay? And so let's say that's, that's the, the area that we're interested in for the uh, for the gathering of the statistics. We can go back to the histogram. We can change the size of the display, okay? Um, and this is how big will the histogram be on the, uh, as a picture? And we've told it to be four divisions, so one, two, three, four. So the histogram will be half of the, uh, half of the uh, screen. Now, it's gathering statistic as, as we speak, okay? And so whenever it finds anything, uh, it's going to add it to this histogram and it's going to tell us what's going on. We can also display the, uh, uh, the statistics of the histogram over here. Uh, so we can that's interesting. I thought I could move it around. Um, anyway, uh, there's a sum. So uh, the number of points, uh, 2.4 K point, kilo, kilo, uh, thousand points. The peaks, the max, the min, the peak to peak, the statistics, the sigma, and everything. It's gathering the statistics on the width of that edge. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, I've let it run several minutes here on this picture, and you can see that we have a nice histogram of what's happening here. Uh, let me get something to point with. So you can see this box, uh, this bottom trace starts to incur into the box, starts to come into the box about here, so you're getting some statistics here once we enter the box here. And then we basically, nothing really happens with that until we get some more coming in from this downward trend here and we get a big bump because now we're, we're accumulating uh, things from from here and then the uh, uh, this then stops here so then we get a different jog in the statistics until the upper trace finally leaves the uh, box as well down here so anyway it gives us some range of the eye the eye is over here um, 
and uh, it's giving us some idea of how how wide the uh, problem area is when when the data is crossing um, you you want it to only cross in a certain region so if this is your detectability box you want to stay inside that box and this will give you the statistics of that so anyway I hope that's a little bit uh, I, I I don't use this um, it obviously would look a lot nicer if I had a a, 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 a data stream with a lot more jitter um, uh, it would look more like a true eye diagram M my waveform here is very clean <laughs> um, and so we're getting uh, we're getting pretty good uh, clean statistics here. But uh, if you go online and search for eye diagram, I think you'll see you'll see what I'm saying. Uh, you'll you'll get a lot of diagrams that'll look more like uh, look more like here, and the uh, uh, the up and the down are more roundy. Uh, so uh, I encourage you to go s investigate that if you're interested in eye diagrams. But anyway, yes, the scope does have the ability to do some statistics.